Hi, it's Mrs. Jones and welcome back to my garden. So if you've watched the previous video, you've seen my potato harvest, sweet potato harvest in fact. And I decided I'm gonna go right back in there and put some potatoes in the ground. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare my soil. So here I've got a nice helping of lime dust, which adds calcium and magnesium back to the soil, which is necessary, especially for root vegetables. So I'm gonna divide this between my two containers. I've got one here and one there. So I'm gonna put about half here and half there. And I'll mix that in. The other thing I add, this has got a hole in it. is this all-purpose, long-lasting, organic nitrogen. <laughs> so we've added calcium, magnesium, and nitrogen. These are all things that get depreciated when you grow vegetables. And I'm just gonna add about, it's falling out of the bottom of the bag, that's why. <laughs> so I'm gonna add about a quarter cup to each container. Must have gotten the hole poked in it somewhere. Okay. Alright. Top is closed. Just flip that over. And put that away. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix that in. Now, ideally you can mix the entire soil container. But if you think about it, as you water your plants the nutrients drain downwards into the rest of the bucket and that is the same for as the potatoes or whatever root vegetable is growing they're forming roots down in the soil and they'll get all the nutrients even if you only mix it at you know the top of the soil so I'm not too worried about getting all the way down there with these soil enhancements. I'm just mixing the very top. There we go. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now these little roots, they were too small to make anything of it. So I'm just going to add them back and let them reach their full potential. <laughs> I'll divide them. We'll put some over there. I'm only burying it about two inches below the soil. Do the same for this container. Oh, sorry about that. got a lot of roots from the last harvest but this will just um, become compost oh I hope so if I'm lucky maybe it will sprout some sweet potatoes of its own okay, I'm just mixing in all those soil enhancements in this bag is um, just a few more. Oh, that's not going to do any good. <laughs> okay. 
these are small yellow potatoes that were laying on my counter and they've all sprouted some roots so let's see what these can become <laughs> see those roots there learning as we go I think I'll put some over here too. Got another. This was, you know, it's a nice size, but you might as well put it back in and let it grow some more. And I'm definitely putting this in the garden enclosure because I don't want more problems with the rabbits trying to chew on my sweet potato leaves again. Boy, is it hot out here, even in the shade. Okay, so sweet potatoes and small yellow potatoes. I wish you the best. I will try to take good care of you and not neglect you and um, protect you from the bunnies. <laughs> All right, take care, bye-bye.